Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it will give you a detailed overview of the Odoo 50 repair module. This module is fully integrated with the maintenance and inventory module of Odoo and it gives the direct access to the products, equipment and employees required for performing the repair activities on the products or equipments. So here in this window, it depicts all the repair orders described along with their important details like repair reference, schedule date, product to repair, customer, delivery address, warranty expiration, sale order, company and the status. Apart from the list view, here we have the campaign view, graph view and also can see the pivot view here. In addition, you can select the lines to perform additional actions or take print of these records. Similarly, we can set the priority by clicking on the star icon and this facility is very useful for making urgent records. Additionally, the filters menu and the group by can be used and the favorite tabs include the options such as save current search, import records, link menu in spreadsheet, insert in spreadsheet, etc. So now let's create a new repair order for then click on the create icon and in this creation form we can provide a repair description and then we can specify the product which you want to repair in this field. So here we can provide the description. Then we can allocate the product quantity here as the units or descents. Then we can choose the customer for whom the order will be invoiced and delivered. After that, we can describe the sales order from which the product to be repaired comes. So I have already created a sales order. And the responsible person for this operation will be auto allocated in the responsible field. Then the schedule date should be defined using the calendar available here and the location where the product is to be repaired can be described along with the company and the warranty expiration. Additionally, the invoice method can be defined in between the options no invoice before repair and after repair. So the invoice method can be specified based on if the repair work is a paid one or not. So the before repair and the after repair option will allow you to generate an invoice before or after the repair is done respectively. So if you select either of this option, you should include the invoicing address. In the case of no invoice, you are not required to generate an invoice for this repair order. And the no invoice option can be selected in the cases when the product has a warranty or has free service support. The window also allows you to allocate the tags in this field. Here we can see several tabs like parts, operation, repair notes and quotation notes. So under the parts tab, you will have to include the details of the product which you want to create a repair order. Hence we can see that the part of the product that is needed for the repair is mentioned as the product. So you can add the details of the product part which you are required to add or remove to repair the damages. So you can add the details using the add a line available. So first you can specify the tag. This can be either add or remove. So this field allows you to find out the type of operation. That is because you are able to add or remove the product part based on your requirements. Then we can uh, choose the product from this drop down menu. So the uh, options like description, quantity, unit of measure, unit price, taxes and the subtotal will be auto allocated. When we look at the operation tab, we can define the operation details of the repair order by clicking on the add a line option. So you are, uh, you are able to mention whether it is a warranty, allowance, etc. The repair note tab allows you to customize a repair note and allows you to include in this window. In the same way, you can include quotation notes under the quotation notes tab. So Odoo modified the notes tab in the 15th edition and it brought new notes that is note tab as repair notes and quotation notes. So right now it will be very convenient to differentiate between repair orders notes and quotation notes. 
After completing all these steps, you can click on the save button. Now the repair order is in the quotation stage and you can confirm the repair by clicking on this confirm repair icon. So please note that here we have select the invoice method as after repair. So the invoice will be generated after finishing of the repair work. So when you confirm the repair, it will change into the confirm stage. Now you are able to start repair operation. For confirming it, you can click on the start repair icon. Now the stage of the repair order will be changed into the under repair. And when you complete your task, you can click on the end repair button available at this window. Now the repair was completed and it is time to create an invoice as we selected the invoice method as after repair. For doing this, we have to select the create invoice button available at this window. So when you select the create invoice button, you will be able to view an invoice here. In this window, you can view two smart menus on the type, uh, top right corner of the window. And this is the link menu to the respective module to perform the action. So the smart menus available in this windows are the product moves and the invoices. So when you click on the invoice button, you will be directed to a draft invoice page. Here on this draft invoice page, you will be able to view the confirm button, which will allows you to post the invoice. So click on that. In this posted stage, you are allowed to register for payment and this can be done by clicking on the register payment button. So once you click on it, a window will appear and here in this window, you should mention the payment details such as journal, payment method, recipient's bank account, amount, payment date, memo, etc. And click on the create payment icon. So now the invoice will be marked with a green ribbon in payment here. And in this window, you can uh, see various icons. Uh, they are sent and print, preview, add credit note, add debit note, etc. So we can send an invoice by clicking on the send and print icon. So when we click on the preview button, we can view the invoices and bills as displayed in this window. So in this preview of this invoice, you can view the subtotal details. As we understand the point, how will the invoicing process be when we select the after repair as the invoice method. Now let's create a repair order with the invoice method as before repair. So if you want to generate invoices before starting the repair process, you can set up your invoice method as before repair. So we can follow the same steps that we have done before. You can choose the same product, same repair description, etc. So here we have created a repair order and set up the invoice method as before repair. Now what we have to do is confirm the repair by clicking on this confirm repair icon. And the next step is to create an invoice. So this can be done by selecting the create invoice button. And when you click on this button, you will find a invoice tab that will allows you to create and confirm the invoices. So using this smart tab, we can create an invoice before starting the repair process. Once the invoice is generated, you can perform further operation and here you can see that the repair order is in the ready to repair state, which indicates that when we opt for the before repair invoice method, you will be able to create an invoice before initiating the repair process. So here in this window, you can see the start repair icon. 
which will allows you to start your repairing process. Now the status of your repair order is displayed as the under repair. So when the repair process is completed, you can click on the end repair button. Now the repair order will be in the repair stage. So when we come in the case of no invoices, we did not need to generate any invoices and this option can be set up in situation where the product has a warranty or if it is a free service product type. In this case, you need not to make any payment for the repair work. So in the 15th edition, Odoo include the repair workflow in a more flexible way and also it has a more comfortable interface that also allows you to track the product moves. So you can also access the product moves button along with the invoices mod tab. So the product moves tabs allows you to track the product moves. So upon selecting this icon, you will depict the inventory moves window. So far we have discussing how to create a repair order and what are the possibilities for generating invoices. Now let's have a look into the repair order tax option available in this module. The repair order tax menu available under the configuration tab allows you to manage repair order tax. This configured tax can be provided in your repair order records. So that you can easily search your repair order using these tags and identify your repair orders quickly. And this window also allows you to customize the filters and group by conditions for easily sorting out your tags and the create button can be selected for creating new tags. So the newly created a repair tax can be seen here in this window. Now let's have a look at the reporting section of the Odoo Repairs module. So the reporting tab of the Odoo Repair module includes repair menu which will help you to analyze your repair orders. So the Odoo system allows you to view the report in various views such as bar chart, line chart and also in the pie chart. And you can use also apply various default as well as the customizable features like filters, group by and the favorites. So the default filters available in this window are quotation, confirmed, ready to repair, invoiced, created date, etc. And under the group by option, you can see the customer, product, status, warranty, expiration and the company's name. And here the measures tab uh, available at this window will help you to generate reports in various measures and these menus include under these tabs are the product quantity, taxes, total and the untaxed amount. Moreover, the system allows you to view the window in different views such as the graph view, list view, campaign view and also in the pivot view. Here the campaign view will depict the repair order in various stages based upon their status. And here the list view of the window can be seen here. And the repair module available in the Zodo ERP allows you to offer services to the customer for the product they bought from you. And also the module is the best helping hand to the manufacturers. So implementing this module to your business or company will ensure quick responses and better customer satisfaction. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.